everyone, my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about paperless animation. There are many ways in which animation can be made easier in the digital world, from Ctrl Z to onion skinning to easy flipping between any of the drawings that you need, but one of my favorite tools to use when it comes to digital paperless animation in Harmony is the model view. And it's sad because most people don't really know that it exists or what it does. So today, let me introduce you to the model view. So the model view can be used for various things, such as allowing you to bring in palettes and texture to your scenes. So I will go in my library, I'm gonna go get a very special palette here. So what I'm gonna be using this week for my video are assets from the Lacadaisy short film. So Lacadaisy is a comic created by Tracy G. Butler and it's amazing and we are currently making a short film for it. So I'm gonna have a link in the description below so that you can check it out. So I'm gonna go get Mr. Freckle here, I'll import it to my camera view. And as I do so, it will also import the palettes and everything I need to clean up this character. Note that it is strike here. This is because I didn't save. If I save, it will disappear. Amazing. By the way, I'm going to show you how to create these model templates in a different video. Uh, today, we're just focusing on the model view. But in this template that I imported, I have my color model, but I also have some model sheet here to help my artist out. So the model view is a view. To access it, simply click on the plus sign here and find it in the list. So the model view is used to navigate the drawing element of a layer. So to use it, first you need a layer. So now I click on this library file, but I could also have just a new layer here and write something with like one, two, three, four, five. And then if I take that layer and I want to see it in my model view, I can just click on it and drag it to my model view. And I'll be able to see this frame in my model view. In the model view, you can use the F and G shortcuts to navigate your drawing. And you can navigate this view exactly like you would navigate your camera view. So you can zoom in and out, you can press space to scroll around, and you can use the FNG shortcuts to move from one drawing to the other, making it super useful to import your reference image and then have them all in your scene. This is great because if you're working with only one screen and you don't have two monitors, then instead of scooching your things to the side to get your references, you can just have your full scene open and simply bring it here to have everything you need inside your model view, instead of having to scooch it on the side. Be careful though, because the model view is just reading your frames. So if you go here and you draw something, um, it'll also appear in your model view, just so you know. But being able to see your bitmap images inside your shot is not what makes this feature amazing. What really makes it super awesome is that once you have a fully painted drawing in the software, you can use it as a color model and load it in any of your Harmony scenes. And once this drawing is loaded in the model view, it will allow you to color pick the color palettes directly from the image instead of looking for a color here in the color view. So if I had a frame here to paint, I could easily just use the model view's built-in color eyedropper to select a color from the model and paint it directly in your camera view. So painting your cleaned up layer will never have been so easy. Simply take any of these little paint bucket tools and as your cursor enters the view, it'll transform into an eyedropper, allowing you to color pick the palette directly. Yes, that's right, no need to scroll or look around the swatches for that one color, just, just click on the image. This is so cool. And this is called a color model template, and it can be stored in library. Sadly, our time today is almost up, but we'll learn how to create and handle these color models together in a future video. Be careful, however, there needs to be a color palette attached to this drawing for how many to color pick it. Uh, if you try to color pick from a random bitmap image, like this one, all you're gonna color pick is something called no color because there is no swatch or palette attached to that image. It's just a random pick. It only works if you have something that was drawn inside the software, like this image. All right, and like I said, anything can be a model. All you have to do is create a layer, for example, draw something. And then if you take that layer and you drop it inside your model view, it'll be there and you can keep using it to draw maybe another version of your character. So great! <laughs> but remember, if you edit your layer, it will also edit it in your model view. Point, point. So I hope this was useful and I'll see you again next week.